Welcome back. I hope you're fine. I hope you already checked chapters 12 and 13 because now it's time to check chapters 14 and 15. An important discovery and a final posting. The aim or objective of this lesson is that you, students, will be able to show reading comprehension and listening comprehension of both chapters 14 and 15. And also you will show understanding of present simple tense and present continuous tense by producing sentences. As I told you, now we will check chapter 14 an important discovery, and chapter 15, a final posting. But, you know, before we read the chapters 14 and 15, we have to check some important words that will help you understand better the text. Ok? Así que tenemos que chequear el vocabulario para que ustedes puedan entender mejor. This time we have only two sections, the subject or noun and the verb section. In the subject section, we have basement. It means the underground level of a house. Corner, place in the room where two walls meet. Cylinders, containers for liquid. Label, Piece of paper with information. Mission, it means job in this case. And supplies, quantities of it. So, if, if there's anything that you do not understand, remember that we also have the translation. A lo mejor se les hace más fácil leer la traducción y saber a qué, de qué nos estamos... ¿A qué estamos refiriéndonos con estas palabras? Basement, corner, cylinders, etc. In the verb section, we have follow, that means go behind, and appear, you can see them, ¿ok? Suddenly, you can see someone, repentinamente, yes? And not... It means move my head up and down to say yes. That's it. Now, let's read the chapters. Congratulations, you are ready now to read chapters 14 and 15. Click on the following link, the link here, este link que está acá, and watch the video. This video contains both chapter 14 and chapter 15. Así que no tienen que irse a ningún otro video. Just this one. When you watch the video and you finish the video, you come back to do some activities. So that was the end of the book, guys. It's so exciting. Now you know all the information related to the twins and what happens with Owen. It's very exciting. Es muy emocionante, right? Now it's time for us to check the information that we have. And how do we do this? By answering some activities. According to chapters 14 and 15, mark the correct answer. Aquí pueden escribir, escribir las respuestas ya sea en su cuaderno, pueden marcarlo aquí mismo, destacar, etc. Question 1 says, On Medaclan, they use a very different type of energy called A, B, C, or D. According to what you read, you choose the correct answer. Number two, which containers Alex G and Alex M use for their supplies? A, cubes, B, pyramids, C, spheres, or D, cylinders? You choose. Three, where is the spaceship? The spaceship, remember, the vehicle that uh, Alex D and Alex M, mom and dad, use 
for transporting, es el vehículo, right? A, be house the, behind the house next door. B, behind the trees at the end of the street. C, in front of the trees at the end of the street. Or D, beside the trees at the end of the street. If you have questions or doubts, you can check the, the chapters again. Porque esta información está textual. So, reading again, you can have all the answers. Number four. What does Alex B. have similar on Medacalon? A. Cars and planes. B. Global pollution. C. Radio. Or D. Computers. ¿Qué es lo que tienen en Medacalon that it's similar to what we have here on planet Earth? Yeah? Que también tenemos acá. Five. What does Owen say about his blog in his last message? A. He doesn't want to stop writing. B. He says that it is his last post. C. He's going to delete his blog. Or D. He wants Mia to keep writing his blog. You choose. Finally, six. What is rule number four of the internet? Esto de acuerdo a Owen, according to Owen. A. It's difficult to remove things from the internet. A blog is forever. B. Nobody cares about what you write. A blog is irrelevant. C. Other people can see what you write on the internet. Or D. Don't share your address. What is rule number four? Four, number four, remember, and you choose. Activity two, fill in the gap with the correct use of the verb, either in present simple or present continuous. Chicos, vamos a chequear hasta el final, present simple y present continuous. So, fill in the gap with the correct use of the verb. Related to either present simple or present continuous. Acuérdense, revisando toda la oración podemos darnos cuenta si es que está en presente simple o presente continuo. Number one says, Owen not write his blog anymore. Number two says, Owen's mom be crying now. Owen's dad think about him when he looks at the stars. Trevor and Mark admire Owen since he left. Mia B writing a blog now. She reports her days until Owen comes back. And finally, Owen B explore Medacalon with Alex G and Alex B at this moment. Entonces, viendo el contexto de la oración, you choose. Simple present, present continuous. It's up to you. In this third activity, you have to create three sentences about Owen's life on Medacalon using present simple and present continuous. Remember, guys, uh, in the last chapter, Owen went away with uh, Alex G and Alex B. Yes, él se fue, dejó este planeta, and he's living now on Medacalon. Related to Owen's life in this new planet, you have to write three sentences. Pueden usar presente simple o continuo, idealmente ocupen both, los dos, right? Here are some examples. A. Owen never ages on Medacalon. Nunca envejece, he never ages. B. Owen realizes that Mia is 54 when he arrives at Medaclan. And Owen is trying to escape from a human zoo on Medaclan. Those are some possibilities. The rest is up to your imagination. De acuerdo a su imaginación, lo que ustedes piensan, lo que a ustedes se les ocurra, you write three sentences about Owen's life. And that's it, guys. This is the last activity from the English class in this PPT presentation. Dictionary. 
Just like in the previous presentation from chapters 12 and 13, here you have an extra tool. Yes, una herramienta extra. You can check the spelling of a word in this dictionary, the category, if it's a noun, a verb, an adjective, lo que hemos estado viendo, right? The pronunciation, you can listen to someone saying the word in English. Also, the word meaning, the Spanish translation, and an example. Todo eso lo pueden ver en este link aquí. So, guys, this is the last exit ticket you will have to complete this year. Okay? So, as you know, you can uh, write three things that you learn in this class, two doubts or questions, and one opinion or appraisal about this class. Always, always, always write this ticket in your copybook. And that's it, guys. That's it. That's the end of the English lesson for this year. This is the end of the book and the end of the activities. So now we only have um, the, the test, right? The final test. Tenemos la última clase y la última evaluación. And that's it, guys. So, thank you. Espero que les haya gustado el libro. I hope you really enjoyed the, the reading and also the story. I think, in my opinion, it was very, very entertaining. It was fun. It was different, right? It's science fiction and I really like that. So, thank you, guys. <laughs>